Jake here for Extreme Terrain, and today I'm taking a look at these Euro Crystal headlights with matte black housings and clear lenses, fitting 2005 to 2011 Tacomas. Give your Tacoma a nice facelift with this Euro style headlight set. Whether you're looking to replace some old weathered headlights or just get a more updated, stealthy look, these lights are going to give your truck a cool visual pick me up for not a whole lot of money. These are what we'd refer to as an OEM Plus type of headlight. So they keep the stock's type of lighting and a similar style, but there are a few key differences. And the biggest change here, aside from having fresh lenses, will be those matte black internal housings. They really add a different look to the front end of the Tacoma without completely changing the fascia. It's an update that looks nearly stock, again, an OEM Plus sort of deal, but it makes the front end a bit more aggressive and just that much different from other Tacomas out on the road. Definitely a more subtle update than some other options out on the market, but still a meaningful one. And if you're going for that blacked out look, this is a great way to achieve it. However, despite the black housings, there's no detriment to lighting output thanks to the clear lenses over top. Now, like I mentioned earlier, these do keep the inner workings pretty similar to stock as well. You've got the chrome reflectors for the main and high beams in the center, the amber reflectors on the outer edges, and the turn signal running lights on the insides are clear, though they're going to have a bit of an amber tint to them once you put the bulbs in. Now, speaking of bulbs, these do not come with any bulbs out of the box, so you are going to have to reuse your factory ones. But that just makes the installation and any subsequent replacements you might have to do down the line all that much easier and less expensive. Since you're utilizing OEM turn signal and headlight bulbs, those replacements will be available pretty much anywhere for not a whole lot of cash. Now that does mean that they won't give you better lighting output necessarily, unless you do upgrade the bulbs, but they also aren't going to cost you a fortune. We'll talk about pricing momentarily. The other thing worth noting here is that these, unlike some other aftermarket headlights, are DOT and SAE approved, making them fully street legal, so it is a total worry-free setup. Both of those things mean that they will last the test of time and be able to hold up to the elements. And of course, they're also weather sealed to help keep out dirt and moisture. Now, since they meet DOT and SAE regulations, that also means they're integrated adjusters on the backside of the housings, so you can get them aligned perfectly just how you need them. Pricing for the set is going to run you about $200, and that makes them one of the most affordable options out there for this generation of Tacoma. It makes them a really good buy since you're getting that solid OEM type construction and some cool style to go along with it, but it's not going to deviate too much from what your truck came with from the factory. So if you like that look, you prefer something that's a little bit more subtle, I think you're going to be pretty happy with these. Installation gets a 1 out of 3 on our difficulty meter and should take you about an hour to complete the job. Now these again are a total plug and play operation. You don't need to do any wiring since you're reusing those factory bulbs and connectors. Just pop your old ones out, pop these new ones in their place, and we'll get you right on down the road. And to show you how to get that all done, let's hand things over to one of our XT customers. The only tools we'll need today are a 10 mil socket, flathead screwdriver, trim tool, and then I'll probably be using this just to expedite a little bit on the screws. Okay, the first thing we'll need to do is remove the grill. It only has four mount points here. There's a little peg here we have to pop out. Two screws, and then the other peg on the other side. So I'm going to use my flathead screwdriver just to pop these little pegs out. And basically just pop the top part, and then the whole thing will slide. Get the same one on the other side. And I'll pop out those two screws. And on a stock grill, you do have to be careful of a couple of the points. On this one, it is an aftermarket grill, so it pops right out. Okay, you have to remove these two screws on top of the headlight to start. Then we'll actually have to work on the bumper. All right, as you can see, there are three points we have to take out here just to move the bumper a little bit. We're gonna take this one out. There's another screw up here, and then there's just a trim pin right here we have to remove. And then this trim pin kind of looks like a screw. Really, you just have to kind of wiggle it a little bit and pop it out in a kind of specific direction. It has little side pins on it. Then the bumper should be loose. All right. So to move the bumper, you really just have to kind of wiggle it a little bit. You just need to move it out far enough so you can get to 
this little bolt right here on the side. And there's gonna be another one underneath this little trim piece, which we'll remove first. There is a little side pin right there. Same as what was on the grill. Pop that top part and slide it out. And then you kind of wiggle the trim piece a little bit. I'm gonna stick this in the side. Kind of work on popping that out. Be careful with that. There are a few pins here that can break off, just little plastic pieces. Now we have access to both of the bolts we need. You can either use a Phillips head or the 10 mil socket here if you'd like. That's just a regular screw. The other one on this one and probably on yours is a bolt that has no Phillips head top. So you are gonna need to use the 10 mil on that and it is kind of a tricky fit. So I'm gonna try to slide that in there to get that loose. It is the top one. There are kind of two bolts right there. The bottom one connects to the frame. The top one is the headlight. Kind of tricky to get at that one. Once you get it started, hopefully it'll be pretty loose. And you can loosen it with your hand. Once you have those removed, the headlights should be loose. You kind of want to be careful of the electrical net connections in there. You also want to be real conscious of this mount point down here because it kind of gets stuck if you don't get it coming out the right way. Just watch that that's gonna clear the frame on the bottom. See that kind of sticks out. Once you have it loose, you can kind of lean it down. You get a view of the three spots where you have lights. You have one right there. And I like to remove the electrical connections first. You just kind of push in on this one slide it out same on the far one here some of those might take a little work the main headlight actually just wiggles loose and you can set that aside and the headlight is free to remove the three bulbs you'll need to reinstall first one is here just a quarter turn counterclockwise should snap and slide out. Just be careful of that bulb. Uh, note that those little pegs are all very specific size and only fit in one way. So when you put that back in, just be real conscious to put it in the same way. And it is the only way it'll fit. Same thing for this one. Just a little quarter turn counterclockwise. Just shoots right out. Then for the main headlight, you definitely want to get this rubber gasket off. Kind of take some pulling and slide it right off of the bulb so you get access to the little mechanism there. And that's just a little metal pin. You have to push down and slide to the side, and then it'll pop up. Then that bulb will come right out. Again, be attention, pay attention. There's only one way that can go in, those three prongs only kind of fit one way in there. So be conscious of that when you put that in the new one. And we'll go ahead to that next. Okay, now we're ready to install the new pretty one. Be careful not to scratch that up when you get started. Again, to reinstall that main headlight bulb, we're gonna kind of lift that little metal spring. There is only one way this will fit in. So just pay attention to the three Little prongs there. And then when you push this down, kind of down and snap it over, fit right in there. 
that rubber gasket goes back on top. Be real sure that has a good seal to it. Push down all the way around the main bulb and then around the side again. Once that's seated firmly, you can move on to the directional, which again, only fits in one way. So you gotta look for the slightly larger point. Fits in. And a little quarter turn clockwise. Same thing with the other on the side. Fits in a very specific way there. And then a little quarter turn clockwise. All right, with the new plastic, I just need a little help getting that straight. But they're all three seated back in now. We're ready to hook up the electrical connections again. Probably easiest to start with the longest one first. Which is the far one here. Again, you'll see there's just a very specific way that goes in. And make sure that snaps all the way in until you hear it click. For the main light, no click. You just slide it onto the three connectors, pushing it down nice and tight. And you move on the directional. Goes in the same way, a little shorter cable. Make sure that snaps in good. Once that's in, again, be real conscious of this mount point at the bottom. Make sure you're clearing the quarter panel here. Once that's kind of down in, the rest of it will slide in pretty easily. Just make sure you're matching up all the plastic nuggets at the top. Should be nice and flush there. And then should be able to get to this one down here. I would definitely start off with that. Again, that's the bolt, not the screw. Make sure you get that lined up first and then the rest should be easy. And once you get it about as good as you can hand tighten, you want that 10 millimeter socket again, just to finish up. And before we get that trim piece on, we just have one more screw we need to put in down here. That's not in there nice and tight. We can get that trim piece back on. Kind of just want to slide the edge in so it's nice and flush with the quarter panel. And the rest snap back into place there. And you finish it off with one of your trim pins. Plastic on these is a little broken. I wiggle mine, hopefully yours are still in good shape. Once it's in there, push the pin in and that's in place. Now we can do the two screws on the top. One here, one here. All right, it's a good fit. Now we just move over and do the exact same thing on the other side. And all of the screws, everything is exactly the same, just mirror image. Once that other side's done, we'll go ahead, get the grill back on. All right, once you have all the light screws in place, you can pop that bumper back into place. And it really doesn't take much. You just kind of wiggle it around a little bit. 
lift it back in place. Make sure you're flush with the quarter panel here. And then get those three items back in here. I'll start out with that trim pin. And you can see from the holes, you gotta kinda push it in a certain direction. Once it's in, let's turn it a bit. And then that will stay there. And then we'll get these other two screws back in. As long as you have the bumper in place properly, you shouldn't have any issue you finding those holes. Good to go there. Now we can get the grill back on. All right, once you got that other light installed, everything looking good, nice and tight. Make sure there aren't any extra screws laying around. We can go ahead and get that grill back on. Just be conscious of the spots it goes into right here. It should be pegs that work there. If you have a stock one, you gotta watch out for the other three little holes there. This one doesn't have that. Screw holes line up. We'll get these two screws in first. And then we'll finish it off with our two trim pins. One left, one right. That's going to do it here for our review and install the Euro Crystal headlights with matte black housings and clear lenses fitting 2005 to 2011 Tacomas. Thanks so much for watching and as always for all things Tacoma, be sure to keep it right here at ExtremeTerrain.com.